Welcome to Alexa's Tech Room. Overall wonderful despite a handful of frustrations. Kindle Oasis with adjustable warm light. The item is sold by Amazon. Product linked in the description below. Our best 7 300p flush front paper white display. Adjustable warm light to shift screen shade from white to amber. Waterproof Ipiite so you can read in the bath or by the pool. Your Kindle has been tested to withstand accidental immersion in water. Thin and light ergonomic design with page turn buttons. Reads like real paper with the latest ink technology for fast page turns. Instant access to millions of books, newspapers, and audiobooks. Works with audible pair with Bluetooth headphones or speakers to switch seamlessly between reading and listening. 4.6 out of 5 stars. The aforementioned item has a total of 21,242 reviews. Product linked in the description below. The first review is from Airmit. Overall wonderful despite a handful of frustrations. 4.0 out of 5 stars. Before I start this review, I just want to say that I adore this air reader regardless of any negative feedback. In fact, I took it over to show my mother, and she loved it so much she got one for herself. It's clear and crisp. While only an inch, the benefits of the 7-inch are noticeable, but hard to explain outside of it just feels better reading-wise. The screen is matte, and while not glare-proof, it helps a good deal, and the pages are lovely to look at. Touch very responsive. Again, due to the tech of this product, it's kind of a wonder we have touch screens with them. It's very responsive for an air reader more than any other that I've looked at. I can't say I was all that impressed with the Paperwhite's touch screen as it seemed to get finicky at times and could turn multiple pages on you, a problem I've not had with any other device. While sometimes it doesn't always register the touch, for the most part it does, and highlighting, accessing the menu, shopping in the store, etc. have all been easy. Sometimes it doesn't register when scrolling, but that's been the biggest issue encountered so far. For both of us, trying to read on a tablet for longer periods of time just isn't enjoyable. Page turning I am partial to the buttons, and am a believer that these devices should come with them baseline. However, buttons or touch the pages turn fast, fluid, and cleanly with close to no delay whatsoever. Screen brightness, the warm light is great, and is the other reason I got this model over a paper white buttons were the other. I have issues with my eyes where blue light really bothers me. Not only does the Oasis seem to have less blue light in general compared to paper Whitkindle older Oasis models, but the warm light works well. It doesn't take a lot to solve the issue and being able to adjust brightness and warmth separately is good. You are able to set the warmth to auto-activate from sunset to sunrise based on time zone set your own time or do it anytime easily. Options. There are many ways to change the layout from font style, boldness, and size. I haven't seen it really mentioned, but you can set it horizontal also. Yes, you do need to go through settings to do this, but given how this device works, that's not a surprise. This is the first air reader purchase for both of us. After many years, though, I have had occasion to play with the newer generation of Paper Whitkindle in person before making this purchase. There is a feature to save all your layouts, so it's simple enough to hit the saved format for horizontal to switch to that or back again to vertical. The buttons come default as up forward down back, but these can be reversed. There is no scrolling option, but I'm not someone who likes that when reading books, but keep that in mind, especially for certain media like comics manga. You are able to have it display page numbers, the clock, percentage left read, or none of the above. Personal library access Amazon, for the love of all creation, fix this mess. I knew going in that it would be a pita, but still, even after going through each book and adding them separately back into their collections, I still can't sort by them. I don't know what I did wrong, but it's been a frustrating endeavor, and the inability to really have decent sort options can make it a pain for those who want to keep the library on this device instead of just a book or two at a time. 
Fortunately, the search works well, but I shouldn't have to look one of my fires to sort through my library and then bring it up on the Oasis. That's terrible and to my understanding has been a long-standing problem. First things first, this device uses Ink. Wi-Fi, I had no problems with accessing the Kindle store to browse or purchase books. This is probably the biggest area that had a delay lack of sensitivity to input and a large amount of screen refreshing. But again, given what it is, it wasn't an issue really. Wi-Fi does drain the battery even more so if downloading a lot of books, like at the start, and it does give a warning for this, but that is a problem on most modern devices. I wish there was a battery saver option for this like there is for the fires, as I would like to use the translation feature at times while reading some books, and that is only available via Wi-Fi. Fortunately, the dictionary is not so dependent. Battery life, the Kindle base model has four LEDs. The Paperwhite has six. The Oasis 25. That's a lot of LEDs 12. For white 13 for the warm lighting system. And it is understandable that while in use this isn't going to have as long of a life as other models, especially older ones that don't have a backlight at all. When indoors I tend to have everything set to as close to zero as possible as personal preference and would say that depending on reading habits you're looking at charging every few days to a little over a week. I would also say that one should never believe any company's rhetoric on battery life, it's usually under the most minimal of conditions. It works by having a multitude of microcapsules that when charged to display either black or white. That being said, if you're coming from an older model of Kindle, especially the really early ones, you aren't going to get the same battery life due to the LEDs, but it isn't as terrible as a tablet, for example. It does hibernate after a period of inactivity and takes a few seconds to wake back up when starting again. This isn't a bad thing to me, but has been off-putting to others with the slight delay. The micro USB, I know this a point of contention with a lot of people, but I didn't find it that big of a deal. I still have several devices, include Kindle Spires, that use this. I would assume that when Amazon does make the switch to USB-C, that they want to ensure all their tablets Kindles can make the switch over. Shape, I love it. The only thing I can think of is that it would be nice if the metal was grooved a little in a couple of places on the back to help with a firmer grip. Otherwise, it's lovely to both me and my mother easy to hold, easy to operate the buttons, etc. Waterproofing, I can't speak to how this works and hope to never have to. Just from that description alone, it's pretty obvious why this has no color, though color is in the works by the Ink developer, it's just years away from being workable on these types of devices. The ads in Amazon, we are buying your top off the line product. We should not have to pay you more to not have you advertise at us, especially since you have a recommended for you on the homepage that does the job somewhat better. When Kindle Spires were launching way back, when it did make some sense as the price difference was 40 and made the Lowern models especially more accessible to a wider range of people. But now it's just gross. Yes, I have the one with the ads because I cannot justify giving you an extra 20 for something that is top of the line and already highly priced. The price so this is really expensive. There is an option to do payment plans on it, which is nice, but it's still pricey. If you have an air eater that at least is functional, it might do for you to wait until Prime Day or Cyber Monday to get a deal and shave off 5075 Is it worth it? That depends. If you're like me and need the warm light, then this is the only Kindle that has it along with the buttons. Obviously, this works differently than a tablet and its main purpose, as with all air readers, is to give a good reading experience and mimic a page of a book as best as possible while also being easier on the eyes. I look at it as an investment. The products I have gotten from Amazon have lasted years. On top of that, I am a reader and have been looking for something that would allow me to access my Kindle library easily while having the features I need with it. If you're not reading a whole lot and or do not need the button swarm like then, this probably isn't the Kindle for you. Personally, I knew I would not be happy with the Paperwhite, 
And while there are things I dislike about the Oasis, as a whole I am happy that I own this. Probably the biggest question to ask yourself before spending this kind of money is how much do you read and or were you someone who used to read a lot? The biggest question is whether one will use it enough to justify having a device that is only for reading and if the features for them personally justify the purchase. For me, yes, for others, it may be a different answer. I listen to and read many reviews on the Oasis and other Kindles, and one of the comments was that with the Oasis, that one might spend more money due to just buying more books to read. I can see that. It's a joy to read on this. Display very, very sharp on the Oasis. It's lovely to look at, and I have found zero ghosting while reading. Our first question is from Tammy S. Why is Oasis over double the price of Paperwhite? Is addition of physical page turning buttons and seven versus six display that significant a difference? Simply put, it's the extra features and premium build. The page turn buttons has both buttons and touch screen and seven screen that you mentioned. The page turn buttons has both buttons and touch screen and seven screen that you mentioned. These are all wonderful features to have, but depending on how much a person reads and their budget, may not be worth the extra money for some. I am fortunate to have both this Oasis and a Paperwhite, and tend to use my Paperwhite more overall. It's the one I don't mind throwing in my purse on the way out the door, the smaller, less expensive one to travel with, and the one I mostly use by the pool and at the beach, although both are waterproof. I guess I tend to protect the Oasis more as it was more of an investment. It is very enjoyable to read with, especially at night with the warm lighting. Whether you really need want one over the paper white is up to you see less. The all aluminum and glass construction versus paper white is all plastic is a big cost reason, I think. The all aluminum and glass construction versus paper white is all plastic is a big cost reason, I think. See more simply put, it's the extra features and premium build. The original ergonomic design that makes the bigger 7 screen model lighter weight than the paper white. 25 LED lights versus paper white has 5. Warm lights in addition to regular lights for color temperature control at night. Ability to set auto adjust on the lighting so that it adjusts brightness to surrounding lighting automatically. Product linked in the description below. For more content like this, Please subscribe and click the bell icon so you are notified of new uploads. We upload new videos every day. See you next time.